With the demands of daily life, finding the time to study can be a challenge. However, with the right strategies, it is possible to balance work and study effectively. In recent years, while balancing my responsibilities as a two-kids mom and my busy full-time job, I took the MBA program at QS top-ranked business school and graduated as outstanding student. Mm -hmm. I passed the WSE level three exam in one attempt. So in this video, I'm going to provide you with tips and tricks for studying before and after your daily work routine. One, understand your work schedule. The first step in balancing work and study is to understand your work schedule. By knowing when you have free time, you can better plan your study time. If you have a set schedule, you'll know when you have a few hours to study before or after work, or if you have a flexible schedule, you'll be able to plan your study time around other commitments. As for me, I sent my kids to art school at weekends so I could spend hours preparing my portfolio management exam when waiting for them outside the classroom. I took WSET level three materials in my business trip and reviewed in the departure luge on the plane. Also, I won't miss traveling either. I took a cruise and studying accounting in the Baltic sunset. Two, set realistic goals. Setting realistic goals is an important step in balancing work and study. When you set goals for yourself, you'll have a clear idea of what you need to achieve and you'll be more motivated to study. However, it's important to keep your goals realistic. If you work a full-time job, you may not be able to study as much as someone who doesn't work, but that's okay. Just make sure you set goals that you can realistically achieve. I wrote down my goals on paper and also on digital calendar that I wanted a top business school admission letter as my birthday gift. Three, prioritize your studies. In order to make the most of your study time, it's important to prioritize your studies. When you're balancing work and study, there are always going to be competing demands on your time, but it's important to make studying a priority. This may mean cutting back on other activities, such as watching TV or playing video games, but it will pay off in the long run. Four, maximize your commute. If your daily commute is part of your routine, it offers a valuable opportunity for productive use of time that might otherwise go to waste. Think of it as your personal monk mode moment, a concept I explored in another video titled, How Monk Mode Changed My Life. In this context, if you find yourself commuting during peak rush hours when the subway is too crowded for reading or engaging in study exercises, consider adjusting your schedule. In my case, I faced the challenge of a lengthy commute, taking the subway at 7.30 and reaching the office by 8.30 during peak hours. To overcome this, I made the conscious choice to rise earlier, catching the first subway at 6 a.m. to secure a seat. This allowed me to dedicate an hour to studying during the commute and another hour in the office before the majority of my colleagues arrived. After work, I continued my study routine in the office to avoid the evening rush. By adapting my schedule in this manner, I created an additional peaceful and highly efficient monk mode Whoa! study time every day. If you found it's helpful, please don't forget to click like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support means the world to me. Five, take advantage of technology. Leverage the multitude of technological tools and resources available to study more efficiently and effectively. Online platforms offer access to practice tests and study guides accessible from your computer or mobile device. Additionally, there's an array of apps and tools designed to enhance your study experience, such as Quizlay for flashcards and Notion for note-taking. Six, create a study schedule. Balancing work and study requires careful time management. Overcoming this challenge necessitates planning your study schedule in advance. Create a comprehensive plan for your study sessions and stick to it as closely as possible. Whether it's before work, during lunch breaks, or after work, consistency is key. Transform your study plan into daily and evening routines to maintain discipline. Seven, stay organized. Staying organized is key to balancing work and study. Make sure you keep track of your study schedule, your goals, and your progress. This will help you stay focused and motivated, and it will also help you stay on top of your work. Consider using a planner or Outlook calendar to help you stay organized. Eight, last but not least, prioritize self-care. Never underestimate the importance of adequate sleep and regular exercise to rejuvenate your mind and body. These practices can significantly enhance your long-term productivity. 
For instance, consider watching online courses while running on a treadmill, an approach that allowed me to complete two challenging tasks simultaneously in half the time. In conclusion, with strategic planning and effective organization, you can successfully balance work and study to achieve your goals. Remember to set achievable goals, prioritize your time wisely, utilize technology, prioritize self-care, and don't hesitate to seek support when needed. Most importantly, remain dedicated and persistent. With hard work and determination, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Keep moving forward, and best of luck on your journey to achieving a harmonious work-study balance. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated.